All right, ladies and gentlemen, Legal Latino Heat here. So I, I'll be honest, I've been kind of like upset, trying to enjoy a nice day yesterday. But the whole Jeffrey Epstein thing is like, it's like, you know, you, you've been trying to do the right thing, lock her up, drain the swamp. And you want to see justice for all the injustice that has been going on. And it's like a movie. Like, I always go back to one of the shows, which is called Prison Break. If you guys ever seen that show, check it out, 24. They, they programmed us for all this stuff. In Prison Break, there's a scene when one of the one of the prisoners that escaped, he knows something about... the. Tr well, the base is the, the vice president's brother. They faked the vice president's brother's death and they pinned it on a, on a patsy. The patsy ends up in jail. The brother, who's super smart... Wants to get his brother out that was framed to be a patsy. The brother never killed the... The brother of Michael Schofield never killed the vice president's brother. So, you know, it becomes like a six-season story. Like the Fast and the Furious. But in one of the um, one of the seasons, one of the guys gets um, locked up. And a government official, his job... The FBI agent, his job is to kill all these prisoners because they know the truth. So it's like the Fox Fox 8 or the Foxwood 12, something like that. And FBI agents are sent out to kill these people one by one. So when one of them gets locked up, they send them a box. But his lawyer tells him, you're going to receive a box later today. You know what to do. So the guy receives the box with a rope in there. He puts the rope on and hangs himself. But as he's hanging himself, because he's also on suicide watch, the security guy guard comes and catches him on time. Wow, lucky break for the television show. Because he ends up being in the series for like another five seasons. But these things happen. And you watch it on... Oh, this, this, things like that only happen in the movies. Stop with your conspiracy theories. But use your common sense. What happened yesterday with the Jeffrey Epstein is waking up a lot of normies too. Like, wait, hold up, hold up. Even even if they're saying, oh, that's Trump's buddy, uh, what a convenience. It gets people asking questions, which I've been saying people. Ask questions. Research on your own. And you got to ask yourself, who benefits the most from this? Is it the Clintons? And please, before anybody starts saying, oh... Legal point though, our greatest allies. I am not touching that topic because those are our greatest allies and they have nothing to do with this. So what and the guy's last name is Epstein. That doesn't that doesn't that's it's not it's not part of that. But let's get let's stay on track folks. Main question who benefits the most or what country benefits the most from this quote unquote suicide another thing folks you gotta look into the convenience how everything happens like on a friday school shooting a mass shooting was like on a friday the epstein thing was on a friday to a saturday it's the distractions let's see on monday if this is still on going to be on the news on monday pay attention to things like that where the news cycle goes today's august 11th they're saying something with the Golden Gate Bridge today, August 11th. I don't know. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. So so please don't red flag law me. I'm just talking about what I'm seeing. No conspiracy theories here. So chill with your red flag laws. <laughs> um, well, kind of still like, hopefully this doesn't end. The investigation continues. And then they'll just, oh, well, he's dead. Let's keep it moving. What about the names that were named in those documents, the unsealed documents? Let's go start there. <sighs> Hopefully justice is served, but... The Chinese techno-fascists run this world, right? It's up to them. Anyways, folks, thank you for tuning in. Have yourselves a great Sunday. Today's Summer Slam Sunday. I should be doing a live stream later on my Chef Legal channel. Check that out, folks. I'll be live streaming later. Thank you and have a good day.